Face masks have become a part of our daily lives. And while scientists and doctors say they have helped save lives, environmentalists are concerned about the disposable kind. Bryce Moore has details. Disposable masks, they're stronger than you think. Here's a regular ballpoint pen. Now I've taped one down to the table. Now watch. With a little friction, the strings of these masks are so strong that they'll actually saw right through the pen. Now with material as strong as this, environmentalists say proper mask disposal is very important. So it's been this type of debris that has really you know, been a result of the pandemic that we didn't used to see on our beaches or streets and roadways or in the environment before. According to the Surfrider Foundation, these PPE are commonly found littered in streets, beaches, and sidewalks. They're usually the single-use, disposable kind. So it could just be that, you know, they're not as expensive, they're used one time, and people see them more as a throwaway item versus if you're using a mask consistently a lot, you know, you, you want to hold on to that mask. That's your mask. And masks are also... You know, they're, they're nasty stuff. They're made of plastics and things like that. So they're definitely having an adverse impact once they're in the environment. With masks being effective at slowing the spread of COVID paired with Hawaii's mandates, the Surfrider Foundation expects them to be around for a while. You can always buy the reusable ones, but Blickley says the bottom line is our behavior. That being said, there's also um, important stewardship aspects that you can use as a mask wearer and making sure that you're holding on to your mask and disposing of it properly and making sure it gets into the trash can um, and not out into the environment. Bryce Moore, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii. Someone called me last week and said, hey, is that Bryce Moore your son? And I said, why, yes, he is.